Okay, then, um, on this demonstration, I'm just going to just give you guys a layout of the steps that I usually take, or depending on how bad the car is, on uh, the paint condition. Uh, let me give you a little more information on these chemicals. These, these um, four chemicals have um, bigger thickness, so that means the bigger the scratches, the, 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 the higher the number we're going to go. To, for removing scratches, swole marks, and, and, and all that. So between these two and these four, these four have polish and compound in it. So these two, these four are two and one, and this, these two are two different thickness of compound, and this is just compound, just alone. So this is a medium grade, and this is a higher grade. So this is a, a, a fine compound, uh, no extreme and um, so it just goes from finest to highest so it's your choice on thickness or, or how big your scratches are on your vehicle or as whatever um, you're trying to remove scratches or swell marks from your car what you want to use so you have to figure out what's what fits your purpose so when you use these two you're going to have to use a use a polish on top of it so you have to um, pretty much have an extra bottle of just pure polish and put it on top of that. So these two, if, you, if I use one of these, it's going to throw another step on top of my process because I have to put a polish on top of it. These ones will elim el eliminate what one, that one other step, so this will be the two-in-one. So that's what, what, what I go through when I do a, a detail on a vehicle. I have to figure out what grade I need to use. And the next, the next thing we're going to have to do when I'm polishing a car, these two are just optional. Glaze works just fills in the the, the fine cracks, that, um, the swirl marks that's left on the vehicle, and it gives it a nice deep color, um, wetter look. That's what the glaze is for. So this is optional. So I like using using this on black cars. And then the next thing we can use a jet seal the jet seal pretty much this is a sealant you don't have to use this one particular or this one particular the the steps that uh, that I'm just explaining is just the way that the process needs to be of uh, detailing a vehicle so this is just a sealant so it's either the the wax or a sealant so whatever one you want to use you can use both of them if you want so these are the two finishing products. So the, the wax, the butter wet wax will give the car a nice wet look. This 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 on um, jet seal will give the car a nice good looking clear coat that it'll make it look like a a, a new clear coat because this gets hard like a like hard like a, uh, a, a clear coat. So that's why they call it a sealant. And a, a wax will just dry up and it'll be like a soft wet look, but uh, this will last longer than the wax so that's your whatever you want and to apply these three you will need a, a microfiber sponge or one of these sponges if you want and I'll recommend getting a nice micro uh, microfiber towel um, any grade you want but just don't get the cheap ones especially on black cars so if you get a cheap one you're just gonna put the scratches back into your vehicle the next thing, they're on. They're th these ones that I have. They're microfiber um, um, pads. These are the ones that you'll find anywhere. The basic one. And then there's different grades. The orange re uh, usually um, indicates that it's a, it's a cutting pad. So this one is, will be for the first step, the compounding. And then there, there's going to be a green one. Usually they're, they're usually great, uh, graded by green. And um, and the green one will be in the middle, so it'll be like a polishing pad. And then the last one will will usually be a different color. Like there's just different colors, so usually the the last one will be like a finishing pad uh, for um, waxing. So it depends how you want to use the pads. So there's different pads out there from different companies. So these ones are for chemical guys. And this this waffle looking one is from um, in, another com another company. 
and so as you can see you could get a nice flat surface pad and this is the orange one I just washed it made it look white it's all dirty so this will be my first step right here and this is I use this for my uh, my wax so I, I have this on the last one I, I, I used the black one and the red one for the last so these two were just for my wax so pretty much it's your choice of what you want um, the the steps that you that you take you can use these steps these two are not um, you could eliminate these you could just use this step and just the wax and you'll be fine so pretty much just use um, this step and this step and you'll be fine and that's all you'll need the the sealant I, um, I like using it because it lasts longer and it gives it a nice wet look onto the sealant so so first step you want to do is wash your car compound it and after you're done compounding it you're gonna have to um, um, polish it if you don't have the two-in-one step polish it so compound polish and then wax it or or um, put a sealant and um, if you want to go to the extreme yes you can use the glaze so those are the steps of doing it in the right way to get the ni a nice finished result nice good looking finished result so hopefully hopefully you guys can understand this so I'm, I'm just gonna put this right here so you guys can understand it so it's gonna be this this and put this so these are the steps that you will have to take. Whatever, whatever step, whatever step you want to use, you, you can use it. Because um, a lot of people get confused, or, or do I have to use this? Do I have to use that? It's your choice of what you want to do. But the correct step is washing your vehicle, comp um, compounding it, polishing it, and waxing it. And these two are choices of, of what you want. If you don't want to wax it that's fine you don't have to wax it you could just turn these two around and just jet, um, put um, a sealant and you could use any sealant in the, on the market it does not have to be these ones um, you could use any um, wax that you want but these are the steps of doing it to get a, um, the, a nice fine um, good looking uh, car so the results of all this will come out how you expect it to and um, and yeah, don't forget the orange pad, the green pad, and then um, I'll just use the black pad. So compound, polish, and um, wax. So hopefully that gives you guys a little um, rundown. But remember, all different companies make different color pads for different uh, for their uh, for their chemicals. So. Just ask the what color the pads for. So this one's for um, polish, compound, and wax. The, the the wax one you don't have to use um, the wax. You don't have to use um, a sponge. You can do it by hand. You, you can use you can use this. You can use the 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 microfiber um, sponge just to put the wax by hand. I prefer to use it by hand. I was just putting my wax with the uh, the the machine before but I find it much better results doing it by hand so if you guys have any questions or concerns feel free to uh, leave a message and then um, I'll try to get back to you guys as soon as possible you could um, you could join me on my Facebook account for um, for faster response and uh, yeah so hopefully it gives you guys a little knowledge of waxing your car and making it look good.